Good morning, ladies and gentlemen in Grand Colony, Nigeria. I remain your own elder statesperson, Reverend Dr. Bartolomeo Agbochanel, coming your way this day again, the second time uh, uh, for the day today, very early this morning, I came your way and uh, I am coming your way again. And this time around, I will be reacting to the ranting of a new man concerning the news that is circulating about uh, Tio's uh, predicament. I, this morning, when I opened my phone, I saw where Tio was uh, brutalized uh, and um, I think receiving medical attention in the hospital or in any medical center. To be frank with you, when I saw it, my blood dried up, although I am not intense with him, but as a human being, I felt it within me, and I sympathized with him. Now, Newman came up and started ranting and mentioned one Mrs. Annie, that is the one circulating the news around, and what he was saying in his VN was amazing. Do you know what uh, Newman said? He said that this is not a recent happening. That this happened last year, October. Newman, the question staring you at the face is this. If it happened October last year, who knew about it? Did you know about it? And if you knew about it, why did you hide it from people? Was it only you that knew it? Or other people knew it? For your information, we are not children, though. If you are not tired of lying, we are tired of listening to fibus. If anything happens to a person of Tio's caliber like this, it will not hide, for your information. It will not hide. Even me, that I'm not as popular as you, if something like this happens to me, and most especially as you said, it was an attack. If it was an attack, the police will know about it. The road safety will know about it. And I think the attack must not be in his home. They will know about it. It will not hide. For your information, you are not talking to kids. This thing that happened to you is not a small thing. It's not a small thing. Maybe you did not feel it. It's not a small thing. That it will be in the incubator until now before it will come out. And you are coming the way you used to lie to people ranting against Annie that he is the one that is doing this thing. If it is not a recent happening and Tio is not bedridden right now, he's not on hospital bed right now, Newman, go and tell you to address the masses. Go and tell you to address the masses. It is not you. It is not you they talked about. Because people have known you for lying. People have known you for, for lying. Tell you now, if you is fine now, a line sentence is okay. Oh, I can see my pictures hovering around everywhere. I am fine. That is all. Without even shouting, it will douse everybody's Feelings. No matter how you come out to rant, it doesn't move anybody. People will believe what they want to believe. People will believe what they want to believe. But if you want to send point to somebody, take a shortcut instead of you coming to rant. 
instead of you coming to rant. And for your information, no matter your ranting, it is very clear that you had been in a predicament like this before. As you were saying, you said he was attacked. Attacked by who? That was what you refused to tell us, or you failed to tell us. Who attacked him? Was it the EFCC that is running away from, that got him and said he has jumped bail, and uh, they mesmerized him? Or it was the DSS? Or it was the police? Or it was, it was the angry beneficiaries that he has sent into perpetual abject poverty? Or is the, is the, is the, is the, is the angry beneficiaries that, that, that their children are no longer going to school on account of Tio? Or it was just the armed robbers on the road that met with him? Or it was the kidnappers that kidnapped him and placed him on a ransom? And before you people paid the ransom, they beat him in the bush. Make it clear for us. Make it clear for us. Who attacked him? Who attacked him? New man, you owe it a duty to explain to people. Who attacked you? Why did they attack him? Make this clear. If not, even if you rant until tomorrow, people are free to believe what they want to believe. Me itself, as I'm sitting down here, I will even be happy if it is not a recent happening. I will even be happy if it is not a recent happening. I will be happy if it happened in October and Tio is not currently in pain. I will be happy. Because the way I am, I feel like going to visit him. But if I go now, you people that are his bad counselors, you have an ulterior motive, so I will not go. I will not go. I will only pray for him. Although if people will say, okay, you don't believe in my prayers, no problem. I know the type of heart that I have. And people know me. If this thing happened in October and Tio is not currently in pain, I will be very happy. But, new man, <laughs> It's difficult for you to convince us that you is not bedridden right now, that you is not currently in pain. The only way you can convince us is to tell you, let him dress up and shoot a small video to tell us, oh, I am fine, I am fine. Don't mind those people, I am fine. Yeah, even if it is a line sentence even if it is a line sentence it is okay for us rather than you coming to is it everything that you will come to talk and you think you can win people's hearts no it's not everything now that you feel you should talk and you can win people's hearts but, and again, finally, what you should know, why this message is circulating, no matter what, the message the circulator is trying to pass is that Tio is being molested because of his coming attitude. That is what you cannot take from people, whether it was October last year or recently. That is the message people are trying to pass. If it was October last year, then Tio was attacked by angry beneficiaries that he has sent into show. And if it is recently, Tio has been attacked by angry beneficiaries whom he has sent into show. That is the message that you cannot clean up from the hearts of people. That is the message. 
you cannot clean up from the hearts of people. And if it was last year, it makes your matters worse. How can angry beneficiaries beat to you like this in October last year? And the disbursement is still dragging up till now. If it happened last year, then you are trying to make us know that this is a second dose of it. This is a second dose of it. Most especially as you and the rest of other food, uh, food soldiers are still collecting money from people. Are still collecting money from people. So that is how it is. So Newman, leave Mrs. Sani alone. He is free. She is free. She has given us evidence. She has given us evidence. You, you need to give us evidence, not your, by the word of your mouth. Let you now come up in a video and say, no, I am fine. That is all. That is all. Then people will know that it is not a recent happening. Good morning. <laughs>